I couldn't figure out how that happened. you really need is some rest. And if you would just go upstairs and get some sleep, not only would you make her very happy, but your doctor will drive herself back to the clinic. <laughs> but you go ahead, because I really would like to stay out here for a little while longer. Ryan's still here, you know. Really? And I thought he left some time ago. Well, he tried, but Steve talked him into staying for lunch. Steve is very fond of Ryan, and Steve is very hard to say no to. <laughs> yes, thank you, see it. <laughs> You know, uh, if you'd like, I can suggest that I drive Ryan back to town with me, unless you want to see him again. No. No, I don't want to see Ryan again. It's just too difficult for both of us. You think the Astros put in the Western Division again this year? Well, I don't know. The season just started, but uh, the team looks pretty solid. I think so. You know, I see your name on the sport pages this year. Only down a small print. Track team looks like it's doing really good this year, and so are you. I'd like to come in first sometime. Well, you're doing your best. I guess so. That's all that matters. Not to my coach. He just wants to win. Hey, look, Steve, not everybody wants to win. So, if everybody does their best, then everybody does win, right? That's what my mom says. Have you taken any trips around the world lately? No, no, I've been staying right here in Houston lately. I hear your dad got a medal. He's a hero. Hey, you're a hero too. You rescued your mother, right? So did you. She was happy to see her. Mm. She told me so tight I thought she'd smother me. <laughs> well, how are you two guys doing? Fine. Good. Where's Mom? She's out on the front porch. Well, I thought she went upstairs to bed. Well, she wanted to stay outside a little longer. I don't blame her. Come on, let's go talk with her. Wait, 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 wait. I thought you were going upstairs to take a nap. I will when Mom does. Come on, let's go talk to her. No, no, no. I, I better be getting back to town. Well, he has to get some sleep, too, honey. Okay, but you have to say goodbye to Mom. She won't like it if you don't. Come on, let's go. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, you never showed me that solar energy music box that you made for the science fair. I did. No, you didn't. And the sun is out right now, so why don't you go get it and you can show me how it works. Okay, but you come too. Okay, cowboy. I'll come. Leave it away. Hey, Mom, I'm here to say goodbye. You two wait here and I'll go get the music box. <laughs> yeah, Steve talked me into having lunch with him. What he told me. I should have gone upstairs to bed. Oh, I just can't get, seem to get enough fresh air, sunshine. Well, I sure understand. You know, everybody feels pretty terrible about not thinking about the cellar. No one's been down here a long time. We made it off premises to Steve a couple years ago. Well, why'd you go down there anyway? To get some strawberry preserves for Barrett. He talked about them before he left on his trip. You, uh, you did it for Barrett, huh? We also talked about making that into a clubhouse for Steve. Jane, I'd give anything if I could have kept you from having that experience of anything that happened to you or our baby. It's over now. The baby and I are just fine. I thought about you a lot last night. Ryan, I'm more convinced than ever that I've got to make a go of this marriage with Barrett. Gina, did you consider leaving Barrett? Yes, I thought about it. But I just can't. I'm sure you can't miss your life. Right. I'll never really know the hell that Barrett endured in that prison camp. Not knowing if you're ever going to see the sunlight again or breathe fresh air. Right, it's a terrible feeling. And, and Barrett went through it for five years. I couldn't have you go through it down there for five more. 
amazing. I thought it was going out of my mind. Look, you went through an awful emotional experience. I know it sounds ridiculous for me to compare what I went through to balance Oh, experience. no, that's not ridiculous at all. I've got to try to help Barrett. I've got to be more patient and more understanding. Maybe I'm not the key. Maybe this time I can really help him. I have to try. And if you fail, will you admit that? I don't intend to fail. Okay, I'll wait. I'm going to wait for you. No matter how long it takes. I'll always be where you can reach me if you need me, okay? If you need me, or want to see me. She was nice seeing Steve again and spend some time with him again. Barry! Barry, I didn't realize that you... What are you doing in my house? D did you see Kate or Jeb? No. I parked the car in the stable and walked up to check the pond. Why? She had a real bad experience. She got locked in the storm cell yesterday afternoon and nobody found her till this morning. Why? Jeb called Ryan to help look for me. He and Steve were the ones who finally found me. Are you all right? Mm -hmm. So you thought you'd take advantage of the situation, is that it, Ryan? You'd just step in and make the most of it. Oh, fair. Well, why don't you calm down? I don't want to hear anything that you have to say. Jimmy's been through enough already and I don't want to see her upset anymore. But you don't want to see her upset. Then you'd better leave, Connor. Now. Here, please listen to me. Jane, yeah, well, why don't you go upstairs and lie down? I'll get things straight with that. That's a wonderful idea. You go get some rest. Not unless the two of you promise me there won't be a knockdown drag out fight. No, 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 we're just going to talk things out, I promise. Barrett? Hmm. Okay, I'll go upstairs. So, you're a big hero, are you? No, I just happen to be around at the right time. Steve heard a noise coming from the cell, and they just know that you and Jenny had a tearful reunion. Yes, as a, as a matter of fact, we did. And I suppose that you, you took it from there. Well, I don't know what that means. What does it, it mean? It means that you asked Jenny to leave me, didn't you? You asked her to go off with you. No, Barrett, I didn't ask her that. Don't pull that innocent act on me, Connor. I know you love my wife. And I'm warning you. Stay away from her. Steve, why don't you go over to Max and Rena's cabin? I don't want to town so she won't be back till dark. How do you know that? Max told me. Where is he? I think he went to the cabin to get some sleep. Well, you could use a nap, too. Why don't you go on up? You were up all night. What's going on that you don't want me to know about? Nothing's going on, honey. Then why are you trying to get rid of me? Is there some reason I shouldn't go talk to Mom and Ryan? I think they're having a private conversation. It wouldn't be polite to interrupt them. I guess you're right as always, Grandma. <laughs> What's going on right about it? Oh, I was just talking about Ryan. He hasn't left yet, has he? No. Why? Well, I have something I have to ask him. Um, just one second, Steve, okay? Ryan's out on the porch talking to your father. When did the girl get back? About ten minutes ago. Well, I didn't see his car anywhere or hear him drive off. I guess he parked it up at the stable and walked up. He said he wanted to check the water level in the pond. Is everything all right? Everything's fine. 